Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jesse and today we're going to be unboxing the XM Studios Samurai Poison Ivy. I'm really excited about this piece. From the moment Karen and I seen the Catwoman and Poison Ivy, we were super excited. I missed out on the Samurai Batman. It was a bit before I knew what XM was. I was a little more focused on Prime 1 back then. I've seen him around, he's really expensive, but uh, we picked up basically all the women of this line. We have Batgirl paid and on order. Uh, we have Cat, I actually was gonna be unboxing Catwoman last weekend, but as we were unboxing her, the motorcycle seat was broken. So I got in touch with Big Bad Toy Store and they accepted a return and they put one on hold for me and they shipped it. So that video will be coming. Uh, a replacement's on its way. But anyway, XM Studios. I could not be more excited about these pieces. I think this is an excellent example of a market situation forcing creativity. I was lucky enough to get to talk to a man named Brian Tan. He's uh, uh, high up in XM Studios. He was telling me that Sideshow Collectibles has a lock on the one-fourth scale licensing about the small base and the the statue and everything and this was stuff I didn't know I don't really frequent on forums or groups I just now got back on Facebook and joined some statue groups uh, thanks to my friend Mashari shout out to you bro uh, he's gotten me really deep into the customs some I used to love back in the day of hot toys uh, but I think there's some really great fan art out there and I know a lot of people have very mixed opinions about fan art and I understand the licensing and all that, but these aren't high run pieces and they're really cool. But anyway, Brian Tan was telling me that DC basically said, we want you guys to do your own thing. We love your work, but you gotta do your own style, your own thing, and the bases have to be double the size of what a sideshow base is. And wow, have they been delivering amazing statues at really cool like pretty affordable pricing if you're in this world i mean you're planning to spend quite a bit when these things come out if you see the batgirl her base is huge and it's just a beautiful construction so i wanted to say real quick check this out you can see right here we got the handbook about the assembling the xm studios our pride, your joy. Congratulations on becoming an owner of an XM piece. Our limited edition luxury collectibles are meant only for the most distinguished collectors. Every painstakingly handcrafted piece is individually hand-painted with the highest possible quality finish. Always pushing the boundaries in the pursuit of excellence, products bearing the XM brand represent the recognized benchmark in quality perfection. Welcome to the epitome of collectibles. Welcome to XM. Happy collecting. And you can see right here, a nice little layout of what we're getting into. How we're going to do it. This is really cool because I remember with some of the early sideshow pieces, sometimes you didn't know what was going on. You'd have to go in there and relook at it. You got a little explanation of Poison Ivy here. Just some stuff you should know. Register as a member. Very cool stuff. Another thing I really like about this, and I noticed it with the Catwoman one before we saw the piece was broken. I really dig that XM Studios gives you this beautiful art print with their statues. This is something that Sideshow did way back in the day, around the time of the Mythos, uh, Darth Maul, and all those. Uh, McFarlane usually includes an art print with his statues, but I just think it's a really cool thing to do. Sideshow still does art prints, but now they make you pay like $300, $400 for a framed art print. And I mean, if you buy them, good for you. I think it's a bit ridiculous. I'd rather put that money into a statue instead of an art print. But let's go ahead. Let's take a look right inside the Poison Ivy Samurai Edition. They come in these really nice boxes. It's kind of cool, they got these little metal pieces on the corners. Go ahead and take a look at these straps right here. XM Studios, 
You can almost wear this as a belt. I'm a huge believer in the XM brand. We got all of her pieces right here. Got her flowers. I'm a little nervous just because. Very cool. Got her heads. Got her geisha fans, her little Japanese fans. So we got all of her pieces right here. Let's go ahead and go one layer, layer deeper. So we got her beautiful flowers. We got her base. So, whew, this is awesome. Let's go ahead and get her base out. Oh, very cool. I like how it's numbered here, or lettered. We seen her at a, at a Denver Comic Con, which was really cool. telling everyone once uh, our comic-con Denver actually gets some statue companies and stuff to debut their products that's when we're gonna start growing as a comic-con 389 to 600 what a cool little thing here I've always liked poison ivy her and Catwoman are two of my favorite villains in the Batman world uh, Karen loves Harley Quinn I do too but I was always a Poison Ivy and Catwoman fan as a kid. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at this base. There's a little bit of white powdered dust. <sighs> Very cool base. Very nice. All right. What we'll do. Go ahead and take her out. Take our little pieces. I know it's not the most popular thing, but uh, Batman Forever and Batman and Robin, I think it'd be really cool if Hot Toys was just to dive in and give us some figures from those movies. I know a lot of people hate on them, but I've loved them ever since I was a little kid, and I mean, when you watch them now, you can definitely see how brutally cheesy they are, but there's still something I dig. All right, let's go ahead and consult our booklet, because there seems to be a lot going on with this piece. All right, so we want us to get this open. I'm really digging this labeling. How cool. That is awesome. So, you can see right here. Oh, I may be wrong. Let's take a look. Oh, all right. That makes sense. Very cool. Very cool. All right, so they want us to do her next. I think it's pretty cool that there's so much going on in this statue. They want us to do it in a certain order. Wow. Look at these intricate details. She is gorgeous. She's got these little vines wrapping her. Look at her little sandals, even little 
leaves on them. Good old bit of cleavage right there. All right, so we definitely know she is B, which I'm a bit confused. Oh, wow. All right. Jeez. So that's definitely why you do it one, two, three right there. I'm a little worried about this C part down here. All right, so they want us to do this piece next. I kind of yet to pre-order it, but I really dig their bane. Got letter E gonna go here. You can see right here, this is D. So. Oof. Very cool. All right. Let's go ahead and do number four. Pretty sure this is gonna be C. All right, so this, I'll go ahead and turn this around so everyone can see what I'm about to do. You can see right here. It's like an intricate Jenga game. There we go. Kind of bumped her, but she's okay. Oh. Could you imagine if you were trying to make statues like this back in the day before they started the separate pieces? It'd be almost impossible. All right. So they give us an idea. Be careful in assembling. All right, so now I'm gonna break into the flowers. This one. Got this one. That'll be all three of them. Let's go ahead. I believe this one would be number five. Nope, this is number seven. Let's go ahead and unwrap it. Number G. So it's kind of funny that they're numbered in the book, but then they're lettered on here. So this. First one I grabbed actually. Nope. Just kidding. It's this one. Yep, it's this one. Alright, number five. So probably should have put her on the turntable to build her. You can see right back here hole. differently than what I thought. It's gonna hang down. So, 
Oh, jeez. Alright, right here, guys. That took long enough. It goes right here. Literally, just right in. That was kind of scary. Yes. Wow. Well, I guess magnet's good. That's a terrifying piece. Oh, geez. It's got a pretty strong bond. This statue is absolutely beautiful and complex. Like this is the most complex statue I've ever put together on here. So, assuming this would be number eight, and this one's just going to go right there. Number nine is this one that's kind of budding. Number nine is going to go high up. Definitely not there. It does hook right around here though. Oh, jeez. Right there. Wow. All right, number 10. This one. Well, now you can see why there's instructions. I mean, geez. Number 11 is going to be this one. No, this one's 11. I was looking at 10 again. It's going to go right. There we go, that one took a little force. Number 13 is going to be this one down here. There we go. 
go. Oh, can you see all of this? Look at that. Look at all that intricacy. My God, that stressed me out. our hand with the mask. Here's our other hand, the umbrella hand. Another hand. Here's our literally working umbrella. Kind of like a little cocktail umbrella. You can see it here. Very intricate. I'm actually a little scared to So basically you get an umbrella hand or a fan. Oh, you got something small right here. Oh wow. Little hair pins, aren't those? Yep. Sculpt number one. Gorgeous. This is what I think of like the Uma Thurman from uh, Pulp Fiction haircut. Huh. And then this one's actually my favorite. I like them both. I'm not gonna say anything, but. Oh. This is where all of our little pins are going to go. One there, one there, a couple in the front. Wow. All right. So, we'll go ahead and we'll do this setup first. Put her hand in. So it's going to kind of balance. Now it uses her finger. Oh, 
is cool. Alright guys, so here's the first look with her Uma Thurman head as I like to call it. You can see intricacy of this. It's funny because coincidentally Uma Thurman played her in uh, Batman and Robin as well, but that haircut just reminds me of her. Uh, you know what I'm going to want everyone to do is visit my Instagram and Karen's and we're going to pull a vote on what you guys like best, this head or the other head. I really like how she's got the green lips on this one. Let's try something. I just want to see because it's kind of usually one or the other. Let's just see. Yeah, it's so cool. Mm -hmm. Look at her there. I don't think you've, you've showed her like that before, where you can get the, the other hand look. All right, so let's go ahead and slowly switch everything out. I really like the umbrella look to her. The geisha, though. correctly. Alright. So. Got one there. It's nice because they actually gave you a couple extra pins. One there. Wow. Does she have some like on the side? Oh yeah, she does. Maybe there is no extra pins. <laughs> 
guess you know more about doing hair than I do. That's it, they, yeah. ooh, geez. they gave us one extra one. All right, everyone, that is super delicate. Said this again. I want you guys to decide which look you like the best. I think it'll ultimately come down to what Karen likes the most as well. But uh, this here is our XM Poison Ivy. Just because I'm very curious and would like to know. what she looks like with the mix from the other version. I think it's actually pretty cool. I think this looks kind of cool how her mask and her. She has these vines going around her. Basically just trying every variation. I am not good at putting this on. There we go. There she is with her umbrella. You guys will have to decide what you think is the coolest variations for yourself. I hope anyone who got this statue loves it as much as we do. This is, she is amazing. I can't wait to get the Catwoman as well. Uh, Big Bad Toy Store is shipping us the Catwoman again on the motorcycle. That'll be coming soon. The next time video is gonna be the um, Arkham Knight, Nightwing, red version. But, uh. Guys, if you're as excited about XM as we are, go ahead and leave a like and a subscribe. 
Let us know what your favorite XM piece is that's coming out. I mean, there's going to be Batman on the horse. There's going to be Samurai Deathstroke. They have a really cool new 52-ish. Uh, they got Rebirth. They got... Uh, they have a Wonder Woman coming out right now. She's like $4.99. They got Aquaman on his seahorse. Really cool piece as well. They got all kinds of statues on the horizon and they are becoming more and more available in America. You can find them at Big Bad Toy Store. There's another website where we ordered the Batman Sanity called Speculative Fiction. Uh, XM's on the way up so it's best to get in while you can get these amazing pieces. I mean they got a cool Justice League Dark Side piece. Uh, comment where it's the whole Justice League fighting Darkseid from War. New 52 looks really cool. I'm really in for that piece. But this Poison Ivy is an amazing first piece to start the XM collection. It would have been Catwoman, but her motorcycle seat was broken again. But uh, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and a subscribe. You can find me on Instagram. You can find me on Facebook. Just look up my name. Instagram, I'm wind, W-I-N-D, 720. Uh, find me over there. Send me a message, whatever. I always respond back to everyone. But uh, remember, keep buying toys.